Hello guys, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies in Salesforce. This video is part of Lightning Web Component series. If you want to watch other videos of LWC or any other concept in Salesforce, do visit the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about communication between components from child to parent using custom events. Lightning Web Component uses DOM event to create and dispatch events, right? Suppose I have two components, parent and child. What we need to do is, first we need to create an event in child component using custom event. And then we need to give name to that particular event. While naming the event, we need to adhere to DOM event standards, right? So the DOM event standard means like uh, there should not be any uppercase letter over here and uh, no spaces allowed in this particular name of event. Also, uh, suppose there are more than two words or more than one word, then we need to separate them using underscore. Okay. Once we have created the event, we need to dispatch event using dispatch event method. Okay. Next is we need to define the handler of event in parent component. Now remember when defining the handler of an event in parent component, we need to use on before the event name. Okay, so in our case, uh, the name of event is button click. So in the handler, the, the name of handler it would be on button click. Okay, and then it can be binded to a, a JavaScript function which will uh, do the further operations. Okay, so let's go and implement this. Now in the earlier video, we had already created two components, a parent video component and a child video component where the parent video is a parent component or the container component of child components. So we'll continue with these components only. Okay. So uh, we'll create a button in child component uh, on click of which uh, we'll fire an event in child component and then handle it uh, further in the parent component. Okay. Button. We'll define the method in JavaScript file. Now, uh, using the custom event method, uh, we'll create an event. Uh, we, that means we'll define an event and then uh, we'll dispatch the event using dispatch event method. Okay. So constant will define a variable over here. We can find custom event over here. And inside this parenthesis, we'll give name to our event, right? So suppose I'll give name as button click, okay? And while naming the event, uh, we need to adhere to the DOM uh, naming conventions dom element naming convention that is uh, there should not be a uppercase letter and it should not be containing any spaces further uh, if suppose more than one word is there we need to separate it using and underscore okay now using dispatch event method will dispatch our event Okay, so we have created an event and then we have dispatched this event. In the parent component, we will define the handler of this event. Okay, so we'll copy the name of event, append onto it, and bind this to a JavaScript function. Okay, we'll comment all this button which we created for an earlier video. And we'll define the JavaScript method over here. We 
we'll put on an alert to verify whether we have reached in this method or not. We'll disable no alert for the entire file so that we can use alert in our JavaScript file, okay? And we'll change the value of this parameter. We'll save our JavaScript and HTML file. And now let's check whether we have successfully made the changes or not. So let's deploy our code to Salesforce Orc. So what I have done is I have written a handler for this particular event. Uh, yeah. So this is my event. And for this, I have written a handler over here and binded it to a JavaScript function where I'm putting an alert so that we can verify whether we have successfully created and handled the event. So code has been deployed. Let's go to the Salesforce org. So in the sales app, on the home page, we have placed our component, okay? So you can see the button over here. Now on click of this button, I should get an alert yeah, so the custom event has been fired successfully and the value of this parameter got changed, okay? Because we are changing the parameter value over here in the parent component where we are handling the event, fine? Now suppose uh, along with the event, I want to pass parameters also, right? So in the child component, uh, when I'm firing the event, I need to pass parameter. So how I will achieve it? So I need to use the detail property of a custom event. So uh, suppose, I need to pass a parameter over here. So I'll add a detail property and assign some value over here. Okay. We'll save this. And now change the label as pass single parameter the parent component in the JavaScript file will handle this parameter okay so here you will alert this sorry detail event dot detail okay now we'll check by deploying our code to salesforce so code has been deployed we'll refresh this page i'll click on this button custom event got fired okay we are not getting a parameter over here why so there must be some error so we have 
assign a detail parameter over here we have dispatched the event now we need to refresh this again I guess yeah so buttons uh, label has been changed now when I click on this button custom event got fired and I'm getting another alert okay so parameter from child parameter right so this value has been displayed over here so we are able to pass the parameter successfully now suppose I want to pass multiple parameters then how I'll achieve it so I need to make it in a JSON format okay so I'll remove this I'll give name as first parent first value second param okay and in the parent component I'll handle this so how I'll handle this we get first value even dot detail dot first param okay similarly I'll put on another alert second value second param okay we'll save our changes and deploy code to salesforce org Yeah, code has been deployed so let's refresh this okay so the label here is first parameter but we are passing multiple parameters okay so custom event fired first value is first value second value is undefined why we are getting second value is undefined okay so we have made a mistake over here it needs to be second param not second param so we'll deploy code again and the value has to be second value okay let's refresh this okay yeah okay let's refresh this again Yeah, we are getting second value okay so in this video we have discussed how we can communicate from child component to parent component using custom events okay also how we can pass multiple parameters along with the custom event in the next video we will discuss about how we can communicate between components that are unrelated to each other that is they are not in the same DOM tree so we can we can use publisher subscribe method for that that we'll discuss in the next video okay this is it for today do let me know your suggestions and views in the comment sections also subscribe to our channel for more videos on lwc thank you